The election is less than a month away, and the race is tight in the key battleground state of Ohio, where there's a clear division among voters. I'm going to vote for Hillary. You know, why are you voting for Hillary? I think she's a better choice. And what's your biggest issue? Competency. I'm going to vote for, uh, not for Clinton, that's for sure. You're not voting for Clinton? Yeah. So that means you're voting for Donald Trump? Yep. Why are you voting for Donald Trump? Because he aligns with my uh, political values. The economy, of course, an important, maybe the key issue in the Buckeye State, and that's where we find Andrew Ross Sorkin. With the presidential election just a month away, Ohio is living up to its status as a battleground state. Do we love Ohio? Do we love Ohio? Hello, Akron! Winning this Rust Belt state has always been vital in getting to the White House. No Republican since Lincoln has won the presidency without winning Ohio, and no Democrat since John F. Kennedy. The Buckeye State has voted blue three out of the last five presidential elections. But Donald Trump is now slightly ahead in the polls. Clinton surrogates say his temperament is still a major factor for undecided voters. It's about this nation. It's about Donald Trump, who has offended women, who has made a mockery out of reporters who have disabilities. I have no problem defending my surrogate. The economy is a key platform while candidates stump here. Ohio's unemployment rate is below the national average, but jobs are still top of mind for voters in Columbus, as are taxes. Millennials are now just as large a political force as baby boomers. Both generations making up roughly 31 percent of the electorate. They're focused on some different issues. Student debt is really important for people our age. Um, it's something we're really concerned about gra after graduating and something that we want to see politicians talk about. I don't know that I feel safer abroad than I do eight years ago. Um, you know, I'm going into the Marine Corps and it's just you know, eventually the next president's going to be my boss, so I want to know who's going to do a better job. The candidates face off again in a debate on Sunday, which could end up deciding which way these 18 electoral votes will go. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin in Columbus, Ohio.